I, I really hope it doesn't rain. It's been telling me it's not gonna rain all week and now I just looked and there's a 100% chance of rain. So we'll keep our fingers crossed and what are we gonna do? There's nothing we can do. <laughs> We're gonna have a ball. We're gonna have a ball. When you stab me, that's how you know that's I, not the, I, that's, that's that's the, the right wrong way. one. I know, I know. I'm nervous right now. I do all of Stacey's eyewear and Jonathan's eyewear. How do you know them? I have known them for many, many years, going back to college days, if not earlier. Did you? Jonathan and I met when we were 19. That was yesterday. That was his They are a recreation of a Stacy's flowers from her wedding. I have known Jonathan for longer than anybody here. I'm Jonathan's older brother. And so I know Stacy through Jonathan. I was at the first wedding, yes. It was wonderful. Had a great time. I was a best man sort of a sort of a role. Good. That guy's nice. We've done this before. Yep. We've got to follow them. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to drive our handicapped van up okay. just in case it starts to rain for and real. Come on. I can do? Oh. No, I'm just so happy. Oh. Oh. Thank you. We'll have the best view. Go ahead and do the whole thing. All right. Hi, everybody. Don't you guys want to be over here? I think we've traveled from all around, I see, to surprise us. Oh. Hey, man. <laughs> and Studio City. <laughs> and from right down the block. You got surprise guests? I have some surprise yes. guests. Oh, yeah. yes. I see. Yes. Hey, hi. We're ready to go. go? Stacy? You ready? Yeah, there we go. Yes. Okay. Friends and family of Stacy and Jonathan, we welcome you and thank you for being here on this incredibly important day. We gather today to bear witness and to ask for the blessing of this entire assembly and all that is good in the universe on Stacy and Jonathan as they reaffirm their marriage covenant. Now at a certain point in the service, I'm gonna ask all of you, and I'll say all of you here do you. And when I finish that sentence, I want you all to loudly say, we will, okay? Because we need to use our voices to really affirm them, so. Marriage involves caring and giving. It involves learning to share one's life with another person, enjoying the love and meaning which can be found together. It involves 
facing together whatever adversity may arise. Here before the sacred ground of being and all of you, Stacy and Jonathan wish to pledge their love for each other again. Stacy and Jonathan. Hi. 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 We are glad to join with you in the celebration of your long marriage and to witness your reaffirmation of vows and to pray with you. Let us pray. Mm. All that is holy, all that is sacred and good in the universe, touch us with an awareness of your presence in all the world around us. Awaken in us a sense of wonder that we were created in love. As we celebrate the marriage of Stacy and Jonathan, deepen our love for those close to us and for those who, although strangers, need our concern. Help Stacy and Jonathan commit themselves to each other and grant us all a heightened sense of joy in life because we share this moment with them. Amen. Amen. So we're going to have three readings. The first by Larry Harris. A reading from the Song of Songs. Come, my lover, let us go out into the field. Spend the night in the henna. There will I give my love to you. Let us rise early in the vineyards. We shall see if the vine is in flower, if the blossoms are opened, if the pomegranate trees have budded. There I will give my loving to you. The mandrakes give off fragrance, and at our door all luscious fruit, fresh picked and stored as well, I have laid up for you, my love. Let me as a seal on your heart, as a seal on your arm, for strong as death is love. Passion fierce as the grave, its sparks are fiery sparks, a raging flame. Many waters cannot put out love, nor rivers sweep it away. If one offered for love all the wealth of one's house, I should be utterly scorned. Thank you all for being here. I'm really grateful for your presence. Uh, thank you guys for everything you've taught me. <coughs> My poem is Habitation by Margaret Atwood. Marriage is not a house or even a tent. It is before that and colder, the edge of the forest, the edge of the desert, the unpainted stairs at the back where we squat outdoors eating popcorn. Where painfully and with wonder at having survived this far, we are learning to make fire. to say to you guys, you know how much I love you. Sorry if I cried through this. Let me not to the marriage of true minds admit impediments. Love is not love which alters what it alteration finds, or bends with the remover to remove. Oh no, it is an ever-fixed mark that looks on tempests and is never shaken. It is the star to every wandering bark, whose word is unknown, although his height be taken. Love's not time's fool, though rosy lips and cheeks within his bending sickle's compass come. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks, but bears it out even to the edge of doom. If this be error and upon me prove it, I never write, nor no man ever loved. We are here today because of the incredible love between these two people. In my tradition, the priest does not marry the couple. The couple marries each other, and the priest then pronounces the blessing on that sacrament which they have made with each other. 
So we are all here to bear witness to their ongoing and eternal commitment to each other. And as I look out at all of your beautiful faces, I know you are all here because of love and that each of you in many ways has helped them in this difficult time. Some of you cooked or brought meals. Some of you came and spent time. Some of you organized and strategized with them. Some of you gave money or helped raise money. Some helped with transportation. Some did research to find resources for them. And I'm sure there are many other ways in which you help them that I'm not mentioning, but please consider them covered. <laughs> Our 22 year old daughter has a tattoo on her arm that says, work is love made real. And that is what I see when I look at all of you gathered here. You all came, you all helped, and you all cared. And you came not because you felt like you should or you must or you ought to. You came because you couldn't help yourselves from doing so. You came because of a yearning deeper than we can ever describe with words. You came because of an unquenchable desire to be in relationship, you came because of love. That yearning that cannot be denied, we see it in the faces of Stacy and Jonathan, and I hope you see it also in the faces of every person who is here. That yearning is love reaching out and calling us always even to the end of the ages. Thank you for being here for them. This is a day I think that not one of us will forget. We will always remember and be glad that we came to gather with each other to bear witness to their love for each other. Where there is love, there is help. Where there is love, there is community. Where there is love, there is grace. Where there is love, there is hope. And where there is love, there is joy. So are you guys ready? Yeah. <laughs> OK. <Are> you ready? <laughs> so Stacy, I want you to look at Jonathan. Look at Jonathan. Not, no, not yet. I need to, <laughs> I need to speak first. Where, where to go? <laughs> Stacy, do you hear in the presence of all that is sacred and of all these witnesses, renew the promises you made when you bound yourself in matrimony to Jonathan? Do you take Jonathan to be your husband, to have and to hold from this day forward for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until you are parted by death. Yes, I do. Yeah. With all that I am and all that I have, I honor you, Jonathan. This is my solemn vow. Do you want to play it one more you want time? want to say it again? One more time. Yes, I do. With all that I am and all that I have, I honor you, Jonathan. This is my solemn vow. Jonathan, you look at Stacy. Jonathan, do you hear in the presence of all that is sacred and of these witnesses, renew the promises you made when you bound yourself in matrimony to Stacy? Do you take Stacy to be your wife, to have and to hold? from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until you are parted by death. Yes, I Yes, do. I do. <laughs> and with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. 
I honor you, Stacy. I honor you, Stacy. This is my solemn vow. It's my solemn vow. Will you, their friends and family, here witnessing these promises, do all in your power to uphold these two persons in their marriage? Yeah. Excellent. Well done. Well done. Okay. Now that Stacy and Jonathan have given themselves to each other again with solemn vows, I invite you all to join me in asking the blessing of the universe on them and on their marriage. Mm. In my tradition, we tie the clerical stole around the couple and bless them. So as I tie the stole, I would like to ask all of you to move in closer and some of you who are close by can put your hands on them. And those who are behind, put your hands on the people in front of you. We do not know how to ask that you two be encompassed now when there was no protection for you then. Nothing that stepped in between you and what came with suddenness into your home, your being. Yet we have seen the blessing that came after the rending, how you took what was torn and made a life not unmarked by what had passed before, but not unhinged by it. You know about doors, know what depends upon them. Know that grace comes in creating our own and the power of choosing how we will cross the thresholds we never hoped to see. And now your life spirals around, uh, you back around that passage in your story and I see you choosing again to create your own way, to stand with courage before this door and make it your own. We are stubborn in asking for this, that when you walk through, you will be encompassed, that you will be enfolded, that you will feel the sacred weight of every word of blessing we could ever think to offer, as if each syllable were inscribed upon you, you who show us what being brave looks like, that it wears your beloved faces. So may we all know the hope that is not just for someday, but for this day, here, now, in this moment that opens to us, hope not made of wishes, but of substance, hope that has breath and a beating heart, hope that will not keep quiet nor be polite, hope that knows how to holler when it's called for, yeah. hope that knows how to sing when there seems little cause, yeah. not someday, but this day, every day, again and again and again. May God bless you and keep you. May God's face shine upon you and may God grant you grace. May God lift up God's face to you and may God grant you peace. Amen. 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 You did it. You did it. Yes. <laughs> So beautiful. Thank you so much. Posey so Krakowski, my dear friend, for over 40 years. Okay. Well, soup's on, everybody. Let's go down the hill and we'll eat and drink and be merry, please. And thanks for not raining, really. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. Okay. So now, <laughs>
Wow, what a turnout. It's extraordinary. <laughs> well, we'll have to stay here till 2 in the morning so I can spend time with every one of you, my dear, dear friends and family. Pictures at the location? Huh? You want a picture? Let's do a picture real fast. And, and everybody, uh, everybody get in the picture. Everybody come around. Walk slowly and talk. Look at the scenery. Oh, it's beautiful. Whoever saw it, you your sunglasses. I said, wear sunglasses. All right, yeah, guys, go get out of the rain. Head down the hill. Even Gigi Labanji doesn't like rain. Do you guys need an umbrella? Well, maybe. I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to put her in the van. Without a hitch, I mean, as it were, right? Amazing, it's amazing. I can't, I have no words. Is everybody here? Posey lives in New York City. Yay, Stacy and Jonathan. I love them both. I know them both for too long, longer and through more uh, strange and um, mercurial paths that I can admit wandering down a hillside in the rain. But I love them both. Um, 20 some years ago in Century City, I believe, um, through, a, through a friend of ours. Who was the friend? Uh, Mark Goldstein, who is a, someone who's not around, but that, that we all remember very fond, fondly. So. My mother, Elizabeth Stephen, went to high, uh, not high school, college at Brown with Stacy, and they were really close friends there, and Stacy's been like another mother to me my whole life, and I grew up with Ava, so it's been lovely. Yeah. Every few months we would have a game night uh, with, with the Penners and the Hallowells. Yeah, and that was really good fun, so it was really super fun. Hi, I'm Charlie. I'm Jonathan's brother. <laughs> 